Invisible on ABC7 News, brought to you by Street Auto Group. Our community matters. Now tonight's edition of Invisible. There are plenty of organizations trying to get homeless off the street and into a better life path. But one stumbling block is always there, and it's as close as the nearest liquor store. When it comes to homelessness and alcohol, it's like the old saying about the chicken and the egg. Do people drink because they are homeless or are they homeless because they drink? The answer is simply yes. Both are true and frankly unimportant. That's because whichever came first, problem drinking is just one more stumbling block to getting someone on the road out of homelessness. Many people we meet have lost hope. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah, they've hit that rock bottom and but it doesn't feel like rock bottom. They don't believe that there's actually anything better or that they can achieve anything better. On any given night, over half a million people in America have no fixed, regular, and adequate place to sleep. That means they're staying in an emergency shelter, sleeping with friends or family, or on the streets. 38% of them abuse alcohol, and the older they are, the more common it is. And for those trying to get them back on their feet, it's one of the toughest problems to deal with. That's because, unlike most drugs, it's cheap and legal. Things just happen in life, but it doesn't mean you react by going and using alcohol and drugs. And so that is our goal, is to teach people there's another way to live. And statistics show once it takes hold of a person's life, the more entrenched they are in street life. It starts young. One study of the chronically homeless and alcohol dependent in New York found that virtually all began drinking as children. Two-thirds were the children of alcoholics, and nearly all left home by the age of 18. One night I pretty much almost drank myself to death. I had like, I don't know, 14, 15 shots of this like moonshine that they had. I can't remember one time I got blackout drunk and had a good memory of it. Like, the one, because I can't remember it too, I've always ended up doing something stupid, getting arrested. The drinking makes it harder to meet their basic needs. That generates more frustration and depression, and that means more drinking. So how do you break that vicious cycle? And how do you convince someone they even want to? For those who are trying, it's a battle they fight every day. It's not simple. We want these simple answers always. I mean, you know, I have that desire as well. I wish so that we could just fix it. But unfortunately, it's more complex than that. I got no home, I've, I screwed up in my life. It's honestly, is the hardest part for me, saying like, yeah, I, I made my mistakes, I, and now I gotta go and live with the mistakes that I made and have to build up from nothing when I could have at least built up on a small foundation. Now I gotta build up from the ground up. The statistics aren't encouraging. Less than 25% of the homeless with an alcohol or drug addiction are likely to get the treatment they need. And even after the battle is seemingly won, relapse is as close as the nearest liquor store. It is tough. I was very sad. You're always sad. And if you're, I mean, if you're doing it right, that's part of it, you know? I don't ever want my staff to get to the place where it's just a job. Because if it is, becomes just a job, then it's probably time for you to move on. Some don't want to get off the streets. Just period. No, they're not ready yet. And you start all over again. Oh, I always tell the women when they come in and they're so lost and broken, and I'm like, you know, especially with their children. And I always tell them one day, the cape is going to come out and you're going to be super mom again. If we are to make a dent in the homeless problem, sobriety has to be part of the formula. Because the deeper they sink into that bottle, the harder they are to see. And if they don't climb out, they remain invisible. Next week, some good news for a change. The results of the latest homelessness count are in and there is progress. That's next week on Invisible.